refreshing. So how do I start off this video? Hmm. Give me a minute. No. I know. Hey, what's up, you all? It's your dude, 4786. I have autism here. Rolling rock, baby. It's got a good balance to it, you know? Rolling rock really has a balance to it that I taste in this beer that I have never tasted in any other beer. To be quite honest. Now, don't get me wrong. That's not to say that the other beers that I've drank were, well, shit. But, um... When you really think about it... If you've ever tried Rolling Rock... Compared it to other beers... This one, for me personally, balances it out so well. Some may argue that it's too light. Um, some like it heavy, some like it light. But, um, it's all good. On the back. If I can get that focus and play. Um, there's, uh, stuff on, there's some interesting, uh, things, things that I find interesting. Um, just gives a full description, a story about the beer itself. Just a little brief story. Normally my camera can focus better than this. I don't know why it's having a hard time focusing today. It says, the honor, the to honor the tradition of this great brand, we quote from the original pledge of quality from the glass lined tanks of old late Lettrube, whatever, because I'm a terrible fucking reader. We tender this premium beer for your enjoyment as a tribute to your good taste. It comes from the mountain springs to you. 33. What a, a more than 33? What does the number 33 mean? I don't know. If I can get this focus into play without there being a fucking issue. I don't know why this won't focus. Mm. Yeah, 33, baby. Oh, wow. Well. But yeah, there we go. Now we got that focus in. 33. What does that mean? The mountain springs to you, 33. Hmm. I've been having these for the past few nights now. And... Some may worry that I might be becoming an alcoholic. Now. Actually, what I come to find out through this is that I've even been able to get a lot more done at work. Um, alcohol, to my discovery, helps me with my ADD. It helps me to focus better. I was able to work more efficiently yesterday because I had a beer in the morning. So you say what you want, because I haven't felt, I have never been able to do as good as I did at work before, before drinking this beer. I promise you that. I tell a lot of the people at work, that um, they ask me how old I am, because they're telling me, oh, this girl wants your number, this girl wants your number, Chris, you know. 
and they thought I was 20 years old. I'm actually 33. So, not only did this beer somehow make me look younger to other people, but it also made me uh, focus better, as well as a result, you know, getting some shit done earlier, sooner, and all that crap. You can all say, Chris, they're just telling you shit just to make you feel better. You can, you can tell me that they're just making this stuff up. They're just telling me lies and that they're not being honest with me. But, you know, whatever. I don't care. I really don't give a shit. Because I honestly didn't ask for anyone's opinion. So for them to bring it up. Because they asked me how old I was. I mean, it's not like I put my, it's not like I asked for their opinion. They just asked my age and I said I'm 33 and uh, started saying some other things like, did you think I was joking when you, when I told you that I'm too old for you? Because I literally was too old for them. These, these girls are asking for my number. And I'm like, okay, look, I'm not, I'm a, I'm an adult, I'm a grown man. All right, you can't be doing this. I'm gonna end up. I mean, I don't want to get in trouble. And I don't know why these girls think I was in my early twenties, and if they clearly knew the laws that once you turn eighteen, you're considered an adult and you can't go out with a minor. You just can't. Anybody under 18 is a minor. That's... That's a big no-no. According to the law. And, you know... I was... I mean, I'm there to do my job. To get my work done. Because, you know... I'll be quite honest with you. It's a crummy-ass job. It's a job. It's an honest living. Okay. That's good, but then, let's be completely honest, it's not the best job in the world, but it's a job, you know, and people would, if I was saying anything bad about it, people would say, oh, you're ungrateful, there's people who don't have jobs. Not too long ago, I was struggling to get to do the things I like to do because I didn't have a job, which means I didn't have money, so I should be grateful to have this job. Despite how crummy the work can be. I'm, I'm supposed to be grateful, right? That I have this. You don't know what you got till it's gone. Like the old saying goes. I always go in at 5 o'clock p.m., which is very convenient because I have most of the day to myself. And then the dinner rush. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's so fucking annoying. The dinner rush is so fucking annoying. It gets really aggravating because so, like, part of the because there's times that people will go up there. They don't even know what the fuck they want. They don't know where the fucking look. And there'll be like an item, specific item that they want from the menu. They don't even know. And it'll be right there in front of their face. And they don't even know where to fucking look. They don't even know how to talk, right? Some of them you have to really, they have such a accent. And it gets so fucking annoying. Because they'll be like, talk, some of them talk, you know, so deep southern. That it's hard for them to understand them at times. Like, I want the bacon cheeseburger. 
We'll take burger and french fry. Drink. Like, french fry to drink, and then they're not even being specific. Like, what do you want to drink? Yeah, yeah. You, there's a lot of drinks. There's, like, over 20 fucking different drinks. Well, if you're counting the ones out in the lobby, there's, like, seven or eight different drinks. What fucking drink do you want? It's like, I want to drink. Like, and then we after after we ask them, after they've been asked what drink they want. And I gotta wear these these dull ass these dull ass headsets from the outside and the speaker box is not even that great. It's like you can actually hear their engine like like their rust bucket engines like cranking up trucks and shit. And that's like that shit's just like Ringing up in my ear because you know let, let's let's face it I'm a guy who loves listening to heavy metal music you'd think I'd be used to this shit but the way the speakers are set because I have my I can have my headphones full blast and listen to heavy metal music but when it comes to that cranky cranking up rust bucket motor shit being started up you mean you gotta be so you're so damn slow that you have to fucking cut off your engine. To park your ass in a line where people are behind you. And then the, you you decide right in the middle of the fucking drive through to turn your goddamn engine on. What the fuck? You're supposed to, I mean, you're going to hold up a fucking line because, what, are you, can you not read the damn sign? I mean, how did you even get your driver's license if you're such a damn goddamn illiterate? And some people will try to get, like, they're so cheap, too, when they try to get these deals, too. Like, they want something, and they'll ask for it, we make it, and then they decide at the last second they don't want it. That's, I mean, it's like, I'm not the one who really assembles the burgers, but it affects me, too, because I have to cook the shit. And it's just, and I have to wear the headset so I can... Bring the burgers and and not to mention the kitchen I work in is like so cramped up and so tight. It's like why do they have these fucking grills so close to the grease fryers? And we got a bunch of fat people in the kitchen trying to squeeze through, and we're like getting all up in a sandwich, the sandwich like clusterfuck, and you know, and butt feeling on each other. And it's like I'm getting molested every three minutes just because somebody's rubbing their junk on me just to go ahead and get by. I'm like, fuck, what the hell? The architect, who the architect of that building didn't quite do a good job. Oh, they, just a decade ago, they remodeled the lobby, but they didn't have the audacity to, or the nerve to, they didn't have it in the nerve to remodel the kitchen because, you know, because fuck us cooks, right? Fuck us. We don't matter. What matters is the lobby because, you know, the customers matter because they're the ones who bring in, help bring in the dough. So they decide to fix the lobby up before they fix the kitchen. And we got people loot leaving store left and right. That's not to say we haven't been doing good. We've been doing good, but the steps we had to take to get to where we're at was just, I believe it was just harder than it needed to be. It was harder, much more difficult than it needed to be. It shouldn't have been that difficult. You know, there's a bunch of other Wendy's that have, that have grills that, you know, where they have the things that go over it and press them down. Burgers. I'm still using a grill from 1978 with knobs and flipping them while the other Wendy's are, are you know, living a fucking utopia because they have all this high tech shit and we're living in 1978, but yet how did we get third place in the, in this event where all the Wendy's from different states, we're going against one another. 
and we got we're the top three we're the top ten we made number three and we did it with 1978 equipment we made it with 1978 equipment while most Wendy's are making it with equipment that is much more up to date and much more up to par how did we pull through with with the conditions that we're in? It's 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 beyond me. It's a fucking miracle. And I didn't even honestly I didn't even expect to even our the store I work at. I didn't expect the restaurant I work at to even get that far. But oh well, life's full of surprises, right? I'm not mad because I have to work. I'm mad is be because like every Wednesday and Saturday, I have to go in. The truck loads in, and all they do is drop the shit off in the fucking freezers and walk-ins, and they don't even have the audacity. They don't even have the courtesy to even go and stock it up. So they're having this poor old man come in and do all this sh lifting his shit, and he looks like he's ready for retirement. And then you got these guys in their 40s and late 30s who are just dropping off shit and say, hey, look, we'll just fucking drop it off in the freezer. Plop, plop, plop. Now, you go and you put it up. It's like if I took a pile of my fucking clothes. It's like if I was, you know, taking a pile. If I had was your butler, if you had hired me as a butler to wash your to do your cleaning and I just washed your clothes... And I took a pile of clothes that, that I washed. Instead of folding the clothes that I washed and dried, I just took a whole fucking pile and just threw it right there in front of your fucking face and said, here you go, now you can fold your fucking clothes. Master fucking Wayne. What kind of butler would, would I be if I didn't fucking fold your clothes and put them up? I leave you to do all that shit. And you're paying me a fortune to do a butler's job. And all I'm doing is half-ass shit by washing and drying your clothes. And I'm just throwing it right in front of your face and say, here you go. You fold it and you put it away. I did my part. Now you do yours. They're the ones bringing in this shit. And then they're having this one guy put it up. It's bullshit. And then on top of that, you know, the kitchen, like I said, the kitchen I work in, like I said, like I said is already cramped up as it is. And then you got this fucking hassle. You know, being the man of my size, bending down is not the, my best forte, alright? This is not my best forte. So I had to bend down underneath a prep table to get a fucking couple of salads out so we can pull a couple of shit out of the freezer. Because we know that when the people come to throw in shit inside the freezer and the refrigerator and the walk-in shit in the walk-in area, they're not going to put it up. They're just going to fucking drop it off. I'm like, whatever. <clears throat> so many people have quit, and I can see why, man. The reason why I didn't quit is because I need this fucking job. I need to make money. The money is what's keeping me here. You know, this is, I mean, why else would I be working? I wouldn't, it's just that <clears throat> I see so many people come and go. And it's like, we have less people. So the one guy that I, there's one of the people I got, my best friend who was a assistant man, who was a shift manager, she quit. I got some other guy who's out of work because he got injured. So it brings us down to just two, one shift manager and one head manager to be in charge for the night that I help, that I have to close, which is like 98% of the time because I only get two days off on average. And I'm working like six to seven and a half hours a week closing shop, close, helping to close the store. Sure, it's part time and ain't much, but you know, during the time that I'm there, I don't get off till midnight. 
I fucking stink. Okay. I come home. And I stink. I'm sweaty. My balls and my ball sack are slimy. I feel like I've been through a fucking grease. I've been swimming in goddamn grease all day. And it's it's just it's madness. Now, do I plan to stay at this place forever? Absolutely not. You know, because as soon as I find another job that's going to give me just as much time as this job is giving me and as much pay or even more pay, if I'm lucky, I might just go for that job. But, oh, my job gave me a 60, give me a 30 cents raise in my pay. Wow, oh, thank you. I needed that extra, I needed those three dick, I needed three dimes in my paycheck. Sure, I needed three dimes added to my minimum wage pay. So I'm making more than minimum wage now. I'm making a little bit more than minimum wage. Kudos to me. Wow. I mean, I'm happy. I appreciate it. It's not, I like it. I like the 30 cents raise. I didn't even ask for it. And the district manager was kind enough to even make it happen. So I'm like, shit. You know, I can't complain. But here I am complaining anyway. Well, that's all I got to talk about. Peace.